here we go. I'll set up once again on my way to Blue Ridge Rock Festival. Uh, I'm kind of taking my time because it's still really dark out there. I don't like riding in the dark too much. Uh, the sun will go up real quick. It's about 5 a.m. 5, 5, 5, 30. 5, 30. So, like, not an hour, but the sun should be up. Okay. All right, so it took a bit of back and forth and figuring out how things are going to be handled over here, but I got into an arrangement with the local garage man and he's okay for me to like leave the bike on his parking lot because uh, if I leave it here, where it's like supposed to be the parking, I need to take a shuttle that takes, that only starts at 10 a.m. and I, I'm not uh, I need to leave earlier than that. So I'll just have to walk to his garage, which is like, I don't know, maybe an hour walk from the festival, but it'll be fine. Uh, so that's figured out. And now I just need to wait for the guy who I'm camping with to uh, transfer my stuff and his bike, I go to the garage, leave the bike, and then head to the festival. All right, that's gonna be, that's gonna work out. Uh, I also, Need, still need to get a wristband for the actual festival, but they're not delivering it today. It's going to be for tomorrow. So I've got a couple leads on that. So let's see where it gets. A little bit of an adventure festival going to a festival without any tickets or anything. Never done that before. I've done like similar stuff, but I had like assurance of stuff. But anyway, it's good. Let's have fun. Except for the ones that have cars way too big to fit, most people are pretty well in their space, which is kind of funny for a for, for metal festival to me. I'm not used to that kind of like order and like just everybody's got to be in their spot. But it's fine. I'll, I'll can, I can deal with that. I can go through that if the atmosphere is good. We'll see how it goes. Let's go explore.
Thank you.